Hello guys, welcome back to your creations. Hope you are all doing great and staying safe. So today's video is about uh, the Excel formulas for beginners. So I'll be explaining about the standard Excel formulas for, for those who are actually beginning with uh, Excel. So without much further introduction, let's start. So this is an Excel row file which I've created uh, for uh, explaining the Excel formulas which you can apply. So we have countries, population, number of males, number of females. So for the first formula, which I'm going to apply over here is a sum formula. Suppose you want to find out the total population of all these countries. So what, what you have to type is equals, every formula starts with equals. So equals sum of open brackets. So you can go to the first, second row b2 to b11 okay so you can see the range what is being mentioned in the sum formula b2 is to b11 so it will give the total sum of the population so the next question will be whether whether we have to apply the formulas everywhere that means if you have to apply a formula in the number of males column the sum formula so do we have to again type in all the details and drag it again? So it's not necessary. So once you apply the formula over here, you can apply those formulas to the next cells also by going to the right hand bottom corner of the cell and drag it towards your right. So you can, so the formula is being applied automatically to the next cells. Okay, this is how you have to you can apply the sum formula. Okay. So everyone is clear on that. The second formula which we're going to apply is average. Average formula is very easy. Select the same, starts with equals, type average, open brackets. You're going to apply the same range, B2 is to be B12. Close the brackets, click on enter. So it will give you the average population considered in all these countries. So likewise, if you want to apply these formulas to the number of males to find out the average number of males in all the countries mentioned over here, or the average number of females, which is being a part of all these countries over here. So you have to just go to the right hand bottom corner of the cell, drag it towards your right, it will keep all the values. So this is how you can apply the average formula. So the next formula which I'm going to talk about is a count formula. Count formula is basically used for counting the number of rows or number of columns which is being selected. So how to apply? Start with same equals count open brackets. I mentioned up to Korea. Type in. So it will say 10 rows. So likewise, if you want to tested on the other columns, you can see 10 rows each. What if I haven't included any details? Look at the chip, look at the changes. So the count function or the count formula always counts the number of cells which have a numeric value. So my question is what I mentioned empty over here, which is a variable. So it is not counted because it's not a numeric. Okay, so why, if you want to count the cell which is having an alphabet or a string also along with the numerics, then we have a different operator or different formula, which is called count A. So what I'm gonna do here is equals count A, okay, it's the range over here. And so it will be 10 because there is no empty spaces. Let's see how it works in the next rows. So you can see 10 and here it's nine. Why? Because it's nine, it's because uh, it's totally empty. There is no numerics, no strings, no characters, nothing. Here we have uh, strings or characters over here. That's why it's been counted. So you can use the count formula for counting the number of cells which has a value in it, okay? So if it doesn't have any values, then there is an issue, okay? 
So I'll give another formula which can you can use for raw data. That means uh, if you have typed Brazil hyphen J or uh, hyphen J or Holland space A India space S Australia space M. So we have a command called trim. So it equals trim and you can give the text. So these are the text. So you're putting it over here. It will give Brazil J, Holland A, India S. So that means uh, you can see that I have put a lot of space in between India and S and Australia and M. So it calculates properly that uh, two words have, it have to be separated with a single space. So you can use the trim command for adjusting the space in between the row data or the row words. Okay, so this is called trim command. So these are the main formulas which you can use while you start working with Excel. So on the upcoming videos, I'll be sharing more formulas which you can be which can be applied in Excel and uh, which can be used for managerial both as well as analyst purposes. So stay tuned, keep watching. Hope you like this video. If you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you.